Beaver Builder did this in 2017. Elementor followed right behind them in 2018 and coming up in just a few weeks. Divi, late to the party, but better late than never, is coming out with Divi version 4. And what am I talking about? What did Beaver Builder do? Then Elementor and now Divi, they are adding a theme builder. What's interesting though is they did this a little differently than everybody else. Everybody else released everything at the same time. So to have a theme builder, uh, there's several components to that. Number one, you need to have dynamic fields. That means allowing someone to use advanced custom fields or pods or just straight up custom fields to pull that data into a template. Um, well, they released that separately from the theme builder on its own a few months back. Uh, another aspect to having a theme builder that you need is my di different um, different uh, plugins to have it be broken down into separate modules. So just a few weeks ago, they released WooCommerce modules. You can build out beautiful product pages. Uh, that's another component of a theme builder. And so they released that not that long ago as well. Uh, but now they're going to release the full package and you can see the countdown timer right here says in about 17 days, Divi 4 is supposed to be released. I will defend them a little bit. They had a bit of extra work to do in order to deal with Gutenberg. Uh, they had a lot more work than the other builders had to do and that probably probably is what slowed them down. Uh, also with that is going to be custom headers and footers. Uh, that's going to be exciting. That's something that they really should have done a long time ago. That was on their radar years ago, many years ago, but they just never did it. Uh, but that's where having other page building tools that are progressing rapidly helps everybody, right? Because now Divi users were saying, Divi, what's up? You know, where's my theme builder? Where's my header builder? And uh, they have to deliver. Uh, so there's um, this page right here. It's, you can just, uh, I have a link in the video description box. Um, they have a little contest going. I never enter these types of raffle contests myself. Uh, but uh, here's some old information on it. It's going to explain what exactly you can expect. Obviously, a big thing for users is going to be headers and footers. I'm hoping that you can show them based upon rules, not just globally. I think they would have had to build that. And then you can have site-wide post templates. Interesting, it says site-wide, but I'm pretty sure I saw a demo and you can apply this to just certain categories or certain criteria. And then it says and more uh, right here. So. Uh, I'm excited for this uh, because it's something that Beaver Builder users have been able to have for a long time. It's something that Elementor users have been using for a long time. And I'm very experienced with this because I bought Beaver Builder when it first came out when they released Beaver Themer to be able to do this and it was amazing and I had a bunch of tutorials on it. So uh, when Elementor came out with it, oh my gosh, I was so happy uh, and I use it all all across my website. So when Divi releases it, I'm going to be sure to cover fresh new tutorials on creating custom post types and creating custom fields and uh, using its theme builder on it uh, and really make these things very easy to understand so that you can get a whole lot more out of what you have already purchased. So let me know what you think about Divi for down below. I'm excited that they're doing this and uh, I, I, I hope it's a smooth transition when they release it that there isn't many bumps in the roads. And I would also like to see some surprises out of Divi with regards to this and the feature set. I would hope that it's not just what Beaver Builders had for two years and what Elementors had for a year and a half. I'd hope that they bring some fresh new take on it and new surprises versus just following everybody uh, with the features. I can say in my experience of watching Divi 
add features to the tool that they tend to go a bit deeper than Elementor does in what they allow you to do with the feature. So I'm looking forward to seeing what fresh new ideas Divi brings to it. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section though. Everybody has their preference on page builders. Um, mine, you guys, anyone on the channel knows, I just prefer Elementor, uh, but that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the other ones. It's just my preference. And I think anything that I could have said negative about Divi, um, they're, they're solving with this. They're giving their users uh, what, what they have to right now, uh, which is these features where you can you almost don't really need a theme anymore. Uh, and it's good because the Divi theme, the, the, the features of the theme, they're not really that good. Uh, the builders, um, a lot of people like the builder, but the theme itself has not been good. Uh, so this might be a way for them to solve some of those uh, issues with it. As usual, I want to, you to share your opinion in the comment section down below. Remember to thumbs up on this video if you found some value in it. Hey, this was actually pre-recorded in a live stream that I did earlier just a few days ago. If you would like to be notified when I have my next live stream, remember to subscribe and click on that notification bell. They're a lot of fun. I cover the topics and I answer your questions live. Then I slice and dice it and then share those videos out throughout the week. So it's in a more digestible format. I'd love to have you on the next live stream. So just subscribe and do that notification bell and YouTube's going to let you know when I go live. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I can't wait to see you in the next one.